I just want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to Jared from Wrench Every Day. Sean was reaching out looking for somebody to review his car and he reached out to a bunch of different YouTubers and Jared was the one that answered and then he referred uh, Sean to me and said, yeah, you know, Mike does really good reviews, you know, have, you know, check out his stuff and maybe you'll want to be on his channel. So I really appreciate Jared putting me in touch with Sean and a huge thank you to Sean from driving all the way down from Jacksonville just to do this video. Really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to do more cool cars like this. All right, man, we're here with Sean. Sean came all the way from Jacksonville down to Orlando. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. Right, no problem. And he brought his 93 Suzuki Cappuccino down here. And this thing is wild. So tell me about the car, man. Like, what made you pick up a cappuccino? Uh, I was just watching some videos of key cars. It caught my interest. So I talked to the wife, and at the time I was just buying cars, and she said, no more cars. <laughs> and I told her, I said, we got to compromise with Mary. There's only two cars I want, and the cappuccino was one if it came in a decent price range. Right. So I had been seeing one on eBay, Craigslist for the longest. I reached out to the guy on eBay and made a ridiculous offer. I'm surprised he even entertained. Yeah, he, he took it right away, he accepted it? Uh, he wanted 9,500, I offered him $6,000. He counted back at 65, I counted back at 6,100. <laughs> he accepted it. He arranged to have the car shipped from Miami, Florida to me for $250. So thanks again for that, Miguel. And That's awesome. I got it up here. It was smaller than I thought. And me and my wife just took it out on dates. And that's mainly what the car was used for. When you got the cappuccino, like, did you want to build it? Or did you just kind of buy it and were like, oh, it's a cool car. And then things just kind of fell into place. Like, what happened with it? Well, see, that's a funny story. The goal was just to keep it stocked, drive it. Two seats, nobody could drive with me and my wife in the car unless it's me and one of my children only. Right. But I came home from work one day, my wife decided to drive my truck, and she pushed my car halfway into the street. Messed up the whole front bumper of the car. And at that point, it's, hey, all the parts have to come from Japan, we might as well buy it in bulk and pay cheap, uh, cheaper on shipping. Right. So I ordered a whole bunch of parts. They came in and she actually helped me work on this car. She helped me put every body panel we had to put on this car on it. That's so cool. So I don't know if she felt guilty or <laughs> she just wanted help because I tell everybody this is her car. I don't even let them know it's mine. Right. This car is like, it's just so wild. I've been in a bunch of Miatas and I've been in a bunch of S2000s. I even sat in the Lotus Cup car and this is like the smallest thing I've been in so far. It's not like terrible though, like I still have room. Like I don't feel like too cramped up in here as much as I thought I would, but it's just a crazy experience, man. Everything's just so small. <laughs> the blow off is so loud. <laughs> this thing's wild. What is it rev out to? Uh, 10 and a half. Jesus. Touching bike territory at that point. A little 660 cc motor. Yeah. Uh, we upgraded the turbo, of course. Uh, full custom build, so that cost a lot of headaches. So we got a little three cylinder with a, a big turbo, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, what were you making stock versus like now? Um, when we we just turning the boost up with just a little bit on the car, we made 63 or 66 horsepower to the wheels. Okay. The second time we went, we added a computer, the injectors, turned the boost up to 15. Stock turbo, we made 77 horsepower. And with going to our upgraded turbo and our upgraded manifold, custom manifold, we're right at 95 horsepower to the wheels, 91 foot pounds of torque. That's not bad, man. You know what it weighs? Uh, 1,500 pounds. <laughs> and I want to say we're pushing anywhere from 15 to 17 PSI. 
That's a lot for that little turbo. Yeah. What, what turbo is it? Uh, GT1241. Damn. Um, we have the Chinese clone, not the Garrett. Okay. So therefore, if we mess up the turbo, it's a lot easier just to order another one from a vendor right. and slap it on. Everything just looks so cool on this car, man. I love it. How long have you had the car for? Uh, we had the car actually a year, almost to the day. You did all this in a year? Uh, six months or less. Dang. Uh, I said it wasn't, wasn't an option to really do this stuff. Right. But once it happened, I told you, you know, let's order parts. And then once I started seeing parts I wanted that were rare, I told my wife, that's called an investment. <laughs> so therefore, she can't get mad at me too much for buying because if anything happens, take the parts off, sell it. We're going to make the money back off the part. This is probably a stupid question, but this thing doesn't have airbags, right? No. <laughs> we die like real men. <laughs> So that's probably the unsafest thing about this car is no airbags. But we try to drive careful. We don't. We try to watch out for all other cars. Right. We have very bright LED lights on all turn signals on the vehicle. So therefore, when we turn it on, if somebody's trying to watch us while we're driving to get pictures, which we have happened, we're driving. Somebody has their phone out the window recording, taking videos, or trying to talk to us. I have very bright ones because I don't want anybody hitting us. I want you to know we're getting over. Right. It's bright enough to where in the daylight you notice that we're moving over because on the sides it's white LEDs and a white marker. Good. So it blinds them. Yeah, you got to be real careful on a tiny car like this, man. I would imagine like if you're doing like 70, 80 on I-4, it's probably hard to see if like, you know, some guy is in a pickup truck in front of you. Yeah. Probably can't see you very well. I want to say coming from Jacksonville, we probably did around 75, 80 miles per hour the whole way here. If we was in any other car, it would have been 100 miles. Yeah. Um, we've been to 100 miles per hour in this car plenty of times before, but it's at that point, it's, unless it's purely open road, we don't want to risk it. Right, right. So what are you planning to do with the car? Because I know you're still ordering some stuff for it. Like, are you keeping this for a long time? Oh, yeah, this is a forever car. Oh, yeah? Okay. Um, anniversary gift from the wife so we do not plan on getting rid of it and a lot more cosmetic issues because we're taking the car shows and we like to be set aside from different cars and different cappuccinos right we want to make it with one you recognize it's my car and you recognize that it's different work put into it because we want people to know that you don't have to just buy import a car from overseas and do no work to it yeah, that's kind of scary not knowing what's down there. Yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, we want you to know that you can actually do work. You can modify a car you get from overseas. There's no point in just buying a car, keeping it stock, and then thinking it's really unique. No, put your own personal touch on it. Make it more unique to you. This is definitely the most unique cappuccino I've seen so far. What are you running on like suspension-wise? Because I can hear we're rubbing in the back. Actually, suspension should have been in before you, before we did the review, but it was a delay coming from Australia because right. of the virus and everything going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, the suspension actually be at my house tomorrow. Go but figure. we're going to be running Neomat Silvers, um, and that way we can tighten up the rear a little bit. Okay. That way we'll kill the bounce completely. Do you have a suspension on the car now, or is it just... Um, stock suspension, KYBs. Okay. the car that's awesome I don't do it too often I yeah, actually drive very conservative yeah I would to, assume to put all this work into a car you think I would be out there trying to street race anything I actually drive the speed limit yeah I don't I don't do too many things in the car because usually I have my wife my daughter or son here anyway yeah I want to keep it safe but it's just it's, it's fast enough for me, but it's not fast enough to be trying to street race. Right, right. Nah, dude, that... I know people are already going to be in the comments like, what? 90-something horsepower? Like, 
But, but they, they had to remember, 95 horsepower weighs 1,500 pounds. Right. It feels pretty quick, man. And, it's, and it said if you go to, once you approach 120 to the wheels, that's when you'll start possibly having drivetrain issues. Okay. And which isn't the smartest thing for me to do being I'm in America. Right, right. <laughs> Everything is going to cost a lot of money to get from overseas. I think this is plenty fun, man. You got all the noises. Actually, we have a car behind us. I might wave them around. Okay. Or oh, maybe we should give him a show that he will get up and go. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, what you think? Give him a show? Yeah, give him a show. <laughs> Dude, that blow off is insane. Actually, when they were dyno in the car last, I don't know what he revved it up to, but the blow off was so violent. That is shot the vacuum hose off of it. Damn. It was very violent. <laughs> I just want to say, like, the experience of sitting in one of these with the rear mirrors you put on it, the tiny rear view mirror, the like the, the tops coming off, like you actually have like a decent amount of room in here. But like this is a pretty cool car, man. Like it's not thank you. It's not crazy uncomfortable. Like I could definitely, I see myself driving this every day if I had one. Man, I thought I was going to be uncomfortable driving from Jacksonville. We stopped one time because we had a quarter of a tank. Okay. So we filled it up, $8. Damn, how and, big is a tank? Like how much can um, you put in there? Six and a half gallon tank once it's empty. Damn. Uh, we use premium gas in it. Okay. So usually, you know, my wife had attested this, my mom and my friend, Anytime they get in my car, they notice it's always on empty. Right. No matter what car I drive, <laughs> and then I fill it up. So it's about eighteen dollars to fill up the tank from completely empty. Damn, that's not bad. I, I couldn't tell you what the miles per gallon is in the vehicle. I haven't did the estimates and calculations on it. I don't think it really matters, man. You only got six <laughs> gallons of there. <laughs> it's all about driving and smiling. Right. You see, it, you see it get low, just throw some gas in it and be happy. You can't get upset with $18 to fill up a premium anyway. Yeah. That's pretty damn good. Normally when we go places that are draw a crowd just because of either how small it is. Everybody notices something different when they walk up. Either the, how small it is, the color, or the wheels. And wheels are normally the last thing anybody notices about the car. Which is funny because they're pretty crazy looking little teddy bears where'd you get the wheels by the way uh, we ordered it from japan okay um, i found the vendor overseas um i contacted them with anything i want the best deal i could get so i said i want a better price you could give me and i buy them today the only thing they could do was all right we can ship them to you cheaper and we'll knock off a certain amount of money but it's still shipped in the same amount of time because it was from the same company. I always tell people, you never know you'll get a discount unless you ask. 100%. Uh, with That's the body so kit all coming from Japan, I asked them, can I get a discount on shipping? And they knocked about $200 off of my shipping. Damn. Is the wing a part of the kit? No, the wing is actually the only piece that came on the car. Uh, when Somebody said they believe it's an RS8 wing. It's not factory, right? Not factory. The cars okay. come with no wing on them factory. But I like the way the wing look. This car just captured my attention when I kept seeing it posted by this guy for sale. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy, man. Like, looking in the mirror, you can see the corner of the wing. Yeah, the only downside to the wing is if you want to put gas in the car, you have to pop the trunk. Oh, okay. It gets in the way? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a small price to pay for all this fun, man. makes all the right noises. I love it. I love it. Oh That's no, it. rubbing doesn't matter, you know. All right. Um, the tires are for the most part fairly new. Well, they are brand new. What kind of tires you got on? I have no idea. Do you know what size the wheels are? <laughs> um, 15 by eights. Okay. So we're rocking 15 by eights. I forgot the tires. I went through a tire company that actually comes to your house and put on tires. Uh, it turned in this cul-de-sac real quick. I went turn in here because no outlet means usually a cul-de-sac. Right. Is he coming in here? No. Okay. Cul-de-sac usually means donuts. Yeah. You see, somebody already's been doing donuts here, so I think we're in the right place. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Damn, man. This thing moves. 
kind of got me a little dizzy. <laughs> you want to drive now? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. Holy crap. That kind of got me dizzy. <laughs> Is that an Android tablet? Oh, uh, actually Android radio, yeah. Oh, okay. Have nice. Apple CarPlay on it. Damn. Does it have Android Auto too? Yeah. You nice. plug your phone in, it'll come up. That's awesome. That's cable for it. We have movies on it. All right. Oh, actually, the driving position is not bad. It's a pretty good yeah, pedal box. Yeah, it sit lower on that side than over yeah, here. Yeah, it feels like it. My quick question, how tall are you? Uh, six feet. All right, and how do, how do you feel about fitting in this car? You all right? I'm all right. I just got to lose me some weight. <laughs> I think I do too, man, because I'm like, this door is hugging me right now. All right. You have a fa like factory clutch and all that? Uh, to my knowledge, everything under there is factory. All right, let's hope I don't stall this bad boy out. I'm gonna try not to hit the screen. I'll just do this. Oh, this is an easy car to drive. Eventually, my wife would start driving it, but... This is a really weird... I got used to right-hand drive at this point, but when you, when you don't drive it every day, it gets weird. Oh, man, this is cool. The thing about like right hand drive cars when I get back into them is like, okay, how far am I to this side of the road? <laughs> but this car is so small, I don't think you really have to worry about that as much. I like this wheel, man. This is nice. Thank you. Is this a boost gauge? Yep. I kind of like just cruising in this car, man. This is a nice ride. Yeah, that's, that's mainly what we do. Me and my wife gets in the car, get in the car. Normally the top isn't even on the car at the house. Right. We, just, um, we, we park it, and then we take it out, have the top down, and we just go out, you know, every now and then, you know, just pick up the kids from school in the car. Because, you know, they were like, oh, it's, it's so cool, you know, you know let, them friend, let their friends see the car that we have. I bet you you probably get some crazy reactions with this thing, I'm assuming. We have. The craziest reaction I had. So I went to Best Buy, we needed a new microwave. Okay. And of course I had my truck, I had everything. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be ridiculous today. Before anything was done in this car, I drove to Best Buy to buy an over stove microwave. I'm brand new in the box and I had them put it in this side. So you imagine me with the top down, driving on the highway, with a big box in, everybody staring, because they just see a box driving the car. Right. Until they went to the other side and see me driving. Uh, crap. It's this yeah, one. The right. Yeah, right. Uh, I do it a lot of times too. <laughs> it just makes all the good noises, man. I love it. It's so cool. Yeah, that wind up, I like it, because you can hear it. I know. Are you running stock brakes on here? Uh, yes. All right, I can kind of feel that. <laughs> I actually have a new pair of brakes. Okay. Probably be here next week. Figure doing suspension might as well. Right. But that's another thing that makes owning one of these cars well. You have to pay to play. <sighs> to get a, a pair of brake pads, you're looking at really around $40, $50 for a standard pair of brake pads. That's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think much of the cappuccino because I've never driven one. But this definitely changed my perspective. This is one of the little, like, coolest, most fun cars you can drive. It's just because you smile the whole time. Yeah, you just don't expect it to do the stuff that it's doing. That blow off never gets old. I love it. The turning is pretty direct. I like it. They're like darts. Pedals feel pretty good. I thought the pedal box would be a little smaller, but it's, it's easy to drive. Got little rumbles back there. <laughs> get over that noise man that's probably one of my favorite things about it but I have LED lights in it 
So okay. at night the car lights up. Right. Um, at night under the hood, from the hood, you can see the lights coming from under the hood and on the sides and I have it set where you can do a different color for each side of the car. color shifting then we thought about paint and, and then rap was like it was more it's economical. cost effective yeah yeah to go because if something happens to rap we could just take it all what color yeah. is the car originally the originally navy blue oh nice yeah most of these i see are usually red like a miata and then vision was you know color shift something that is shift to purple my wife's favorite color so I can get away a little bit with it. It drives really well, dude. Like it corners pretty good. The acceleration's there. Even for 95 horsepower, you got it all. Yeah, my uncle told me, he said, um, what did he do? I said, hey, I'm gonna drive the car down to Orlando. I said, I thought about taking it on a trailer, but I said, if my car can't make it two and a half hours on a drive, I built this car completely wrong. He said, well, if you need me, if you just call me, <laughs> call me. <laughs> but we made it, obviously, so I figured we built it correctly. Man, I, I love this thing. This is, you did a great job building this, man. And you, did you do most of the work yourself? Um, the majority of the work is done with me. My wife helped with the body work. And then I have two friends, whenever I call them, if I need assistance, they come right over because my hands are too big to fit in the majority of the spots. Once we started getting more into it. Right. Or sometimes you just need a second hand or a second opinion. And anytime I called them, they've been right there to help me with building the car. So when we went to go dyno the car, they, they went with me to go dyno the car. The only thing funny about the car is just the screen. Like when you're shifting, you hit the screen a little bit. If you're not used to it like me. And the clutch has a nice grab. You have power steering? I haven't looked, to be honest with you. It doesn't I know some of them came with power steering. I'm not sure if this one has it or not. It doesn't feel like it, but you don't need it. going to be more custom work to the interior under the hood right um local car shows that try to support the local car shows and also car shows out of town drive it out of town you're gonna take this on a track um i want to take it on a track um i have a friend in tampa st petersburg he has a cappuccino also so i want us both to run our cars on the track against each other I think that'd be fun to see two For cappuccinos sure. going head to head. Um, I challenge any Miatas that'll be going to track day. Oh, shots fired. So any Miatas, I'm open game to go up against you on the track. Any stock Hondas. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you gotta know, be careful with the Hondas, bro. I don't want any sleeper Hondas, turbo <laughs> Hondas. Cause I already know the damage you could do against me. But I still will race against you. Even though I know I won't win, I will go up against you on the track. Oh yeah, that's what's up. So I will say, I've been in a bunch of S2000s now and quite a few Miatas. I actually just reviewed a Miata and posted it today. Um, and I gotta say like, this definitely feels, I know you said you haven't been in any of those cars, right? Yeah. All right, it definitely is it's different. You might think it feels the same because it's small. It's a different experience, man. I don't think I've driven anything else that gives you as much of a, a driving feel, if that makes any sense. This is a actually, really well-built car. Sean, thanks again for coming down, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. You want to plug your Instagram real quick? Yeah, 
frugal ass Sean. <laughs> How'd you get that name? But I used to do a lot of couponing. You know, okay. I like to shop clearance. I like to save money, period. Right. Where I can save money when buying stuff. So when I started my Instagram, I thought of a name. And that's what I came up with. So frugal underscore ass A S S underscore Sean S E A N. So I wanted people to really know, don't be frugal as me, but no, I am frugal as Sean. <laughs> you know, some people call me that's cheap, I call it being frugal. Hey, if you can save some money, save some money. Especially if you want to spend some money on like car parts, you know, you yeah. save save a couple bucks buying a t-shirt, you know, that yeah. adds up over time. You never right know now. what you're going to get unless you ask. And also I want to, well I can't show the back of the shirt right now, but on my Instagram, my friend Ronell, him and his wife, they supplied me and my wife's our first set of shirts. So sure basically, when you see us at a car show, please tag us in our car if you're going to take pictures. At least I can get a couple more followers. Definitely check out his Instagram, man. He's got a bunch of photos of the cappuccino. He's always going to car shows now and like showing the car off. He's got like these custom hood props and props for his doors. It's really cool. So my, my friend Ronell, if it will show up on camera, it's Bishop Prince. Um, all one word. I'll put it here somewhere. Okay. But Bishop Prince, that's their company. They do shirt print logos, all that stuff. Are they in Jacksonville too? They're in Jacksonville. Okay. Give them a follow. They have some good shirts. They come up with some neat stuff, especially around football season. But that's anything awesome. you need for your kids, your cars, you know, they, he surprised me with these, you know, giving me and my wife a couple shirts to start off with. That's nice of him. Sounds like a good guy. Yeah, he's a very good friend. You know, went to high school together. And he's very supportive. Anybody's trying to do something, he's very supportive. Not that hard to get in and out of either. Thanks for watching guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna see more car content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes stuff. Here's a little hint at what the next video is gonna be. Don't forget to keep living life at max speed. Does it? Yeah, hit it. If I just hit it.